Good evening. <coughs> Cambridge Connect was established about. Oh, sorry. Sorry, do I need to turn it on? We've got your new mic. My mic? Yeah, mic. Well, it was not on actually just now. But there's interference or something. Okay. Who's in charge hey, of the mic? Does my four minutes start again? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Lorraine, don't talk again. <laughs> okay, go, Colin. Okay, Cambridge Connect was established 18 months ago with the goal of promoting uh, enduring and long term solutions to public transport in Cambridge. It's a, an independent group of um, interested individuals, and uh, we've formed a partnership with uh, Rail Future East Anglia in particular and also a national group called UK Tram. We've come to the conclusion that light rail is uh, an option that we should be considering as an alternative for Cambridge. Is that turned on? <coughs> yep, it's turned on, but it's not working. Okay, so I think James has already covered pretty well why we need this solution and also why Cambridge deserves better. So I'm not going to spend much of my four, minute, four minutes on that. Um, so Cambridge deserves better, but it does ask the question, better than what? So if we consider a bus-based solution for Cambridge and look at the current number of buses coming into the centre of Cambridge today uh, at peak hour is about 120, 25 buses per hour. And they're coming into the Drum Street area. But based on population growth projections and the numbers of commuters we expect in 2031, we can expect that number to increase to 200 to 300 buses per hour. So, we need to ask the question, is that practical and also is it sustainable? Is it going to preserve the qualities that we value about Cambridge or do we need to take a different approach? And this is why we have focused on light rail as an alternative because it has greater capacity to deliver more people um, as a public transport system. Many of you may not know the difference between light rail and a tram. Well, essentially, um, oops, sorry, they're the same thing. <laughs> um, the difference between light rail and a tram is that light rail will travel on segregated routes. We're proposing, as Cambridge Connect, travel on segregated routes primarily, although there may be opportunities for some street running, but we're not proposing it in the city centre. Uh, these are some examples in the UK of um, light rail and trams. Docklands Light Railway, you'll all be familiar with, uh, Manchester Metrolink, and in Europe, um, Lausanne, uh, Amsterdam, there's literally hundreds of systems already established throughout the world. And that is why we've chosen light rail in a way, because it's proven and it's safe. It's well-established technology, but it's still being developed all the time. It's reliable, frequent and fast. It has capacity and scalable for the future. It's environmentally friendly. It is electric, so there's no emissions at the street. So it's good for air quality. And people prefer light rail. So what's the solution that we're actually suggesting? The first priority is... Oh, I'm going to have to stop. 30 seconds, okay. Um, so the first priority is a, is a line extending from the Girton Interchange to Granta Park with an underground component in the city centre. The second uh, priority is to, to extend to the northeast of the city. We call that extension A. The third priority is extend, extension at the north of the city to join it up. So that's the, the network within the city, but we need to look beyond and I've got it. Um, and that extends out into the region. And as James was saying, Haverhill to St. Neots, um, but also there's potential for extensions to Burwell. And uh, we think that's a green print for a sustainable future. And. Um, <laughs>